the sun and uh, he could go into the sun planet right into the sun planet so this is this is a yoga city this is called lagima city and a yogi can also touch the moon with his finger Science, they say, well, we also go to the moon. But you see that they, to, to go to the moon, it took them so much trouble. They had to spend so much money. Use a spaceship to go to the moon. And they went, they could only... So, uh, modern... Uh, th th another type of yoga city is that use his hand and he can take something from far away. We said the yogi can extend it straight, put out his hand and he can touch the moon with his finger. So that is called prapti siddhi or that is acquiring something from far away. So, so he, the yogi can put his hand out, he can take anything, whatever he wants from anywhere. Guru Maharaj, you are mute. So. Yes. Guru Maharaj. Yes, I'm still muted, am I? Guru Maharaj, you are, you are mute. So you will need to unmute yourself. How am I doing? Am I... Okay. Now, now, okay, Guru Maharaj. Okay, so they may be sitting, the yogi may be sitting in one place and he can take something which is on the other side of the planet. He can take it and bring it to his, in his hand. Prabhupada told the story, he said, just like he met one man, he asked him, he said, what kind of fruit do you like? So Prabhupada said, well, I like pomegranate. So the man said, oh, pomegranate. He said, they go very nice pomegranates in Kabul. Mm -hmm. So the man held out his hand and in a second this beautiful big pomegranate appeared in his hand and the man told him this pomegranate is from Kabul. He said, taste it. And Prabhupada tasted it. He said, oh, it was very good, very sweet. So that is called prapti siddhi, to bring something from far away. 
อันนี้เนี่ยเรียกว่าปรับติสิทธิคือหมายถึงการที่เราเนี่ยเอาสิ่งของจากไกลๆเนี่ยมาได้ All right, and then Prabhupada explained. He said, "Modern scientists have also made bombs, nuclear weapons, and they can destroy a, a whole part of the planet by the bomb." Now, Sabhavan Tatibhai said, "That the scientists have made bombs, nuclear weapons, and they can destroy a whole part of the planet." ที่มันอันตรายมากๆแล้วก็สามารถทำลายล้างได้อีกมาก But there's a yoga city which is called Ishita city and with the Ishita city you can create and you can also destroy a whole planet แต่ว่าจากในระบบโยคะเนี่ยมันมีโยคะที่เรียกว่า Ishita city ซึ่งซิดีประเภทนี้เนี่ยจะสามารถสร้างแล้วก็ทำลายโลกนี้เนี่ยได้ทั้งใบเพียงแต่เขาเนี่ยมีความปรารถนาในใจ And another another kind of perfection is called Vashita city และอีกประเภทหนึ่งอีกที่เรียกประเภทหนึ่งเนี่ยเรียกว่า Vashita city And with that power with this city then you can bring people under your control ในประเภทนี้เนี่ยจะทำให้เราจะสามารถควบคุมคนได้จะสามารถสะกดจิตคนได้ So just like somebody can use hypnotism, you can control another person's mind. เหมือนกับการแบบว่าสะกดจิตเหมือนกับสะกดจิตคนหนึ่งให้แบบทำตามแบบที่เขาบอก And if somebody has that power, you can't do anything about it. They can take control of your mind. You can't do anything. So sometimes we see a yogi has got this power, and and he comes out among the people. He's got this power. He can control people's minds. อันนี้เนี่ยบางทีเนี่ยพวกโยคีจะมีจะมีประเภทนี้ก็คือเขาจะสามารถควบคุมจิตใจของคนได้ and and by his power he he will get people to speak all nonsense he control their minds and he will take advantage of them take their money and go away และในลักษณะนั้นเนี่ยเขาก็จะบางครั้งเนี่ยคนก็จะสะกดจิตแล้วก็บางทีจะทําให้คนหนึ่งเนี่ยเอาเงินมาแล้วก็จ้างเงินของเขาสมบัติของเขาขโมยไปอะไรอย่างนี้ก็มีแล้วก็เคยได้ยินกัน So this is how people can use yoga powers for evil things อันนี้ก็เป็นการที่ผู้คนเนี่ยจะใช้พลังโยคะไปในทางที่ผิด People don't know how to make proper use of these kind of powers ผู้คนเนี่ยไม่รู้ว่าจะใช้พลังทิริประเภทนี้เนี่ยไปในทางที่ถูกต้องทางที่ดีดีได้อย่างไร So these kind of yoga powers are very dangerous. พลังทิริโยคะประเภทนี้เนี่ยจึงเป็นสิ่งที่อันตราย And then there's another yoga power called prakamya, which means to do magic. Prakamya Siddhi. แต่มีพลังอิทธิฤทธิ์อีกอย่างหนึ่งที่เรียกว่าพระคำยาสิบี So people who can do this magic they can they can do anything they like หมายถึงเออเป็นแบบว่าเป็นมายาคนก็คือบุคคลที่ที่สามารถแสดงมายาคนได้ก็หมายถึงเขาสามารถทำอะไรก็ได้ที่เขาแบบ And Prabhupada gives an example. He said, "One, for example, he said they can make water enter into his eye, and then he'll make it again come out from within the eye." สามารถดื่มน้ำทางตาได้แล้วก็สามารถเอาน้ำออกมาจากทางตาได้ด้วย Yeah, a lot of water will enter into his eye, and then and then the water will all come out again from his eye. เราเนี่ยใส่น้ำเข้าไปในตาของเขาเนี่ยเยอะมาก
แล้วก็เอาน้ําออกมาจากตาของเขาได้เยอะมากเช่นกัน So this is a kind of magic power, mystic power. And there's another power, which is the highest of all the mystic powers. It's called Kamya Vasai Ita. So this is the highest perfection of power. This is also magic. And Prabhupada explains the difference between kama vasa ita and the uh, prakamya power. The prakamya power it, it only does things which are wonderful, which are in in the law in the scope of nature. Prakamya is the creation that is in the scope of nature. But the Kama vasai ita, that goes beyond nature. It goes against nature. So, so kama vasai ita, this power. It allows people to do things which are usually impossible. So when people, when the yogis do these things, they 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 actually get a lot of happiness from doing it. But that happiness which they get is only temporary; it's not eternal. So we shouldn't be in any illusion. We should understand the temporary nature of that kind of happiness. So there's a class of people, foolish people, and they think that Krishna consciousness is just for less intelligent people. Uh, so these people are very attached, very attracted by the material world. So these people, are, their whole life is centered on, based around sense gratification. So they don't like Krishna consciousness. They think Krishna consciousness. Oh no, that's a waste of time. They're thinking the materialistic man is thinking. I I I'm I have my nice apartment. I have my nice family, and I enjoy my. Home life. I have my television and I have my movies to watch every night, and I relax and I'm very happy. And I have a car, 
and I drive around and in this way I'm enjoying my life. So these people don't know that at any moment they may be put out of the material situation. At any moment they may die, they have to leave the body and leave everything. So they're, these kind of people, they're in ignorance because they don't know that actually real life is eternal. Real life is not here in this world. Real life is in the spiritual world. We shouldn't be we shouldn't become bewildered by the the pleasures of the material world. The, the, the pleasure of material life is very temporary. It's not the goal of life. But people who are in ignorance, they become very attracted by the material comforts. So Srila Prabhupada quotes Bhaktivinoda Thakur. He says, Bhaktivinoda Thakur said that the advancement of material knowledge make a person more foolish. Yeah, the, the more we cultivate material knowledge, the more we become attracted by the material energy and we forget the real goal of life. That human life is meant to get out of material world. But the more we cultivate material knowledge, the more we become entangled and covered by the material energy. And so then we, when we get into that condition, then we will never be able to get out from the condition from the material life. We'll never get liberated. So it's a very dangerous situation. We say people are very attached to material knowledge. They'll spend so much money for material education. But the, the result is they just become more and more in ignorance about the goal of life. Yeah, 
โดยลืมลืมจุดมุ่งหมายสูงสุดของชีวิต Okay, so that we're going to stop here tonight. We'll ask if there's any questions. Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj, Sarah Punima Mataji have a question. Oh, Sarah Punima has a question, yeah. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Guru Maharaj, Kama Vashahita is same like a... Uh, uh, the, the... Hare Bo. เรามาอันนี้ทุกอย่างได้ใช่มั้ยคะแต่ว่าสิ่งเนี้ยมันคล้ายๆกับราชการนี้มีหรือเปล่าแล้วงานสตาร์ทอ่าดึงดูควบค
And Tapaloka, that's where the four Kumaras live. And then there's Mahaloka and Janaloka. There's great sages and yogis living there. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Uh, no, Gumaras, I lost you. Can you repeat the last sentence again? Yeah, Mahaloka and Janaloka, there are great uh -huh. sages and yogis living there. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thì Mahaloka and Janaloka, two worlds are the world of yogi. So, okay, okay, Guraj, we got three more questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sri Devi Madhadi. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, my question is concerning Bhagavad Gita, chapter, thir chapter 13, verses 30 and 32. The self does nothing, and the self is outside all these bodily activities. And the activities performed due to his contact with material bodies do not entangle him. I'm confused then, how is it that his consciousness is affected? When the, when the self uh, has to inhabit another body at death, the, 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 the desires are following him through the, through the super soul. Then how is it that um, the, the self is not entangled? Can please cl clarify Guru Maharaj? Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Self is not entangled because the self is f spiritual. Self is never affected. It, the self is not going to be affected by the material energy, but there will be a covering over the self. Mm -hmm. Right? The self is always, you know, it's, it's purely spiritual. Mm -hmm. But the material energy, because of the power of illusion and maya, our self, our spiritual self, can become covered, and we and we forget our spiritual nature. Right. So, who is the one having the desire, Guru Maharaj? The, like like certain desires that prevent him from having a spiritual identity. Then he has to be born again. Well, who desires is? desires are coming from the mind. If we allow our mind, if we are listening to the desires of the mind, the, the, but uh, we have to have the desire, the pure desire from the soul. Yes, oh. the, the, the soul can have, the soul can, of course, can have, the, indivi the individual living entity The individual living entity, sometimes we desire to act independently of Krishna. Uh -huh. okay. And that's the cause of our fall down. Oh, okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Tanava Pranam, please accept my humble offices. All glory to Sila Mahupa. Ajanaka, it's a matter of time. Pim Nikoi Hatai, Pam Sukhi, they lack the peace of Kanto. The Pim Mute Laha. Pian Mute Laha. They need me. They need me. And they laugh. I'm not sure. เออทำไมนะความสุขที่ได้รับจากการสําคัญตนเองกับบามันสูงสุดอ่ะ
พี่อยากให้พี่ครูมหาดาอธิบายเพิ่มให้หน่อยอะค่ะพี่ฟังตอนอธิบายแล้วยังไม่ค่อยเข้าใจอะค่ะโอเคได้ค่ะโอเคค่ะกูมาดาส she is not clear or when it said that the second kind of happiness the happiness from the coming one with the brahman yes yes so what can you explain more regarding that what what does it mean well the living entity becomes very happy thinking I've become one with the Supreme. It's thinking I'm I'm one with God, I've become one. And you, you don't feel any material miseries, you you can feel some spiritual happiness there. There's no suffering because you you've understood you're not the body. You've understood you're the soul. So there's some happiness there, but they've not understood their relationship with Krishna. They haven't understood the relationship between the soul and the super soul. We're simply thinking, I'm God. Just like you get a big position, in the material world, if you get a big position, you feel happy. And so in the spiritual sense, if you get a big position, if you become one with the Supreme, you feel also happiness. Hmm. Can you understand? Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Ajahn Aka, Pee, me, come down, come to me. Kuman to me, man, the wap, fun, uh, Maya, what he had. Timon, he made as a woman long to end the woman, the wap, how they walk a woman, tip top of a child, die at a yang. Sing, uh, he made a mention of a pin first and a yang. Manja, you name, they hop high. ความสุขอันนี้ไหมอ่ะอาจารย์เข้าใจพี่ไหมเออเขาบอกว่าเขาคุยกับพระเจ้าเหรอคะหรือว่าไม่ใช่เหมือนกับเขาสามารถเขา
Um, Guru Maharaj, I wanted to, um, to ask you, um, if one leaves the body on Ekadasi day, um, do, they attain, do they attain Vaikuntha for sure, uh, regardless of their spiritual practice, like a different religion and all those things? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, it's not so easy. Okay. So it's on, only if someone is actually worshipping Lord Vishnu or something like that? Yes, I mean, you have to consider what is their consciousness, their mental condition at the time of leaving the body. So it's not leaving the body on Ekadasi day, it's a confirmed uh, destination, not like that, right? No, no, definitely not. Okay, then. Um, not many people, they don't even know about Ekadasi, they never observe Ekadasi, and they have no devotion. For the for a courtesy or anything, <laughs> so they won't they won't get. Doesn't mean just because they die on a courtesy that they'll get some special benefit. No, not like that. Guru, what about like the Puranic stories that we hear? Like uh, they don't seem to be exactly engaged in devotion, but uh, they. They seem to transcend to Vaikuntha because they leave the body on Ekadasi or something like that. Well, these sto uh, these stories are very karma kandi, you know. They're they're really not really devotional stories. These pastimes which are told about Ekadasi, the glories of different Ekadasi days. They're they're talking more about benefits, you know, material benefits, encouraging people. It's, they're not really for devotees, those stories about the goddess. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Okay, Hare Krishna. คำถามของมาจีนะคะก็ถามในส่วนของถ้าเกิดว่ามีใครเนี่ยตายวันในกระดาษซีไม่ว่าเขาจะเป็นใครคือเขาจะได้ไปหาไปไวคุณทาเล
Yes, actually, yes. actually it's said that a devotee, one who is actually really the devotee, he will possess these yoga cities, but he won't use them. He won't use them because he knows they, will, he, they would just attract uh, foolish followers. You know, just like if you produce gold, then you'll attract a lot of materialistic people. Or if you can cure disease, then you will attract many sick people. All the sick people will come to you. <laughs> you know, so a devotee is very careful about using yoga powers. And when devotee, when someone would ask Prabhupada to show his yoga powers, Prabhupada would say, yeah, look at all these people. He said, you see all of these devotees here? He said, before, before I met them, they were all sinful and they had all bad habits. But now they have become pure devotees and they strictly follow the regulative principles. He said, that is my yoga power. อันนี้นะคะก็ประมาณนี้ก็ถามว่าแล้วเอ่อโยคะพี่เอ่อความอิทธิฤทธิ์พิเศษประเภทนี้เนี่ยสาวกเนี่ยจะมีด้วยมั
和将要形成种子这两个有什么区别？哦，我听不懂。那怎么可以？可以简单的说啊。他的意思是什么 ？Guru Mani， 可以翻译吗？可以说。Guru Mani， 你们可以翻译吗？呃，就是瑞瑞少。The result was the uh, was not uh, formed, and uh, what what was not formed? Yeah, and uh, Ready to to see to see. It. Oh, I I I don't know how to say. Uh, Guru Mani Madaji, you can you translate? Ma, 就是他他问这个形上没有形成结果的，就是还没达到这个结果的，还有就是即将形成种子的这两种情况有什么区别？还不是很清楚，了解。还有是什么什么问题？我们再看一下这个叫做。下一个是阿尔巴萨帕布问的，就是他他说，在这个灵性世界，呃，创造的灵性世界是在四分之三的大小，然后比这个物质的空间大大很多。但是我们灵魂的大小又是发间的万分之一，所以从这个推理上来说，一根头发就能就能容纳所有地球的这些灵魂，就所以说从从这上看，就是灵性世界的这个空间就非常非常的大，灵魂又非常非常的小，小的那么可怜，为什么？<笑> Okay. The question is that the spiritual world is three fourths compared to the material world, which is one fourth, and the spirit soul is very tiny. It's only one ten thousandth of the tip of the hair. So why is the spiritual world so big when the spirit soul is so small? Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, we, we have to understand that the spirit soul possesses also a spiritual form, and that when the spirit soul enters to the spiritual world, then we will manifest our full spiritual form. It's not that the spiritual form will be the same size as the spirit soul. The spirit soul is very small, just one ten thousandth of the tip of the hair. But that doesn't mean that when you get to the spiritual world that you have that same dimension. That from that spirit soul, the spirit soul you manifest the, the spiritual form, which it doesn't need to be just one ten thousand the tip of a hair. อันนี้เนี่ยคือสิ่งสำคัญก็คือการที่เอ่อร่างทิพย์เนี่ยโอเคเราบอกว่าเป็นไซส์นั้นก็จริงแต่ว่าการเป็นไซส์นั้นเน
And you should also understand there's many, many spirit souls, many, many spirit souls there in the spiritual world. That's why the spiritual world is so big. The, in the material world, we're very much minority. Just like in a prison house, most of the people in the country are not prisoners, but you do have people in the prison. So the people in the prison represent only a small portion of the population of the country. And so we're like, a, we're like the prisoners of the material world. We're a small proportion of the living entities. But there's a vast number of living entities in the spiritual world who are all pure devotees. <laughs> Okay. Sati, how you want to? Rowyang看到的所有星星都居住着生物体吗? Uh, this are all the stars in one universe and the Sayo the Sing Shang Shima Taman Do Taman Do Do Sayo Sing Shaman Yo Shang Wuti Shang Zai Chun Zai Ma Yo Shang Wuti Chun Zai Ma Yo Shang 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 Yo are they all living entities? Well, yes. Uh, they, each star has a per there's a personality behind each star. Yes, there are different personalities. They're, they're like, you know, beings in the higher planets. Just like there's a, the sun god on the sun planet, and then there's the moon god on the moon planet. So, like that. So each star also, there's a personality. The pole star, for example, on the pole star, Dhruva Maharaj is there on the pole star. Mm. Okay. Is there more questions? Uh, 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 can, can you can you read the question of the, the you, you, you read the English Archana? Oh, the, the, English is there. Yeah, they translated the question. Yeah. You have yeah, to read. Yes. Okay. Okay, Ramesh. How is the difference between the sin that take the result immediately and the sin that going to take the result in the future? Uh, could you please give me the example? Thank you very much. All right. 
The sin which is going to take the result immediately, the sin which will take the result in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all depending on the laws of karma. It's not very clear. We don't know what sins will come immediately and what sins will come in the future. I don't really know about that. Just like seeds, when you put seeds in the ground, seeds come up at different rates. Now you don't know which seed is going to come up fast and which seed is going to take longer. So similarly with karma, we don't know exactly what, when it's going to, which seed, which karma is going to come immediately and which karma is going to take longer. But we do know that devotional service can remove all the different phases of karma. Mm. So we just take shelter of devotional service and get the get rid of all the different phases of karma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, woman, gentle woman, we can finish here. Sati, Jeshulama. Jeshula. Okay. Jeshula, me open up. Okay, woman, thank Sati and thank Archana, thank all Guru Mani, all the devotees. Okay. Take care. Hare Krishna. Shula Prabhupada. Shula Prabhupada. Ki Jai. Jai. Guru Maharaj.